What's up guys? Today we are going to be checking out all the different ways that Connor can die in Detroit Become Human. So uh, this is going to be pretty crazy. I'm excited about this. These are some of the other alternate kind of like endings and scenarios you can have. So uh, I'm going to be honest, I am not going to be able to go through the game and record all of these myself. I think it takes like six to nine hours to be able to do this. It's actually an achievement you can get called I'll Be Back Terminator Reference. I thought that was kind of cool. But uh, yeah, it would take that long. So I personally, I just, I don't have enough time in the day to do that right now. So this is a video from Power Picks. I'm going to link their video down in the description, but uh, it's just kind of like a compilation of all of his death scenes. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to see kind of what can happen if you made the wrong decisions and did the wrong thing. So uh, hope you guys are ready. Here we go. All right. So we're going to be starting off here in the hostage situation up on top of the building. Listen, there are snipers on every roof. Let the hostage go. You have no other choice. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Sacrifice self. Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool, though. That's a good way to go. Shoulder checked the guy off the building, protected the girl. It's unfortunate that your main character is dead right off the bat, but... I mean, he still accomplished his mission. That's a mission successful. The, uh, the target was acquired, so... I feel like out of a, a bad result, that's probably not the worst. Here we go, in the interrogation scene. This is cool. You leave me no choice. I didn't think there'd be a way to die here. So this is the, uh, the android we found in that house that had killed his owner? Oh my gosh! I access its memory. I know what happened. Dude, I didn't know that, we, that was an option. Okay, so he's pissed off. You guys saw the suspects at 100% stress level. You'll go back to Cyberlife to be disassembled. It's better this way. How is he gonna kill him? Okay, that was totally rude. That's too savage, Connor. What the fuck is it destroying itself? Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Oh! Holy shit! Oh my gosh, that one was brutal. Don't shoot, we need it alive! Oh wow, this is from... Alice and Kara must have been discovered when they were trying to get away from the police here. I remember this episode, but we were like chilling in a car and cut our hair and stuff. We didn't have this issue. So if you got caught, I'm assuming this oh, is what fuck. would happen. That's insane. Oh no, don't try to cross the road. Come on. Whoa, she just got hit a little bit. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. And never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go as Connor! God damn it! <laughs> Hank's upset. I think he might be my favorite character. Oh, come on, Connor. He 
was just hit by a truck. Oh god. So I guess this is what happens if you really suck at the, the quick time actions. Oh no. No! Possible to kill Alice and Kara just in that. What? Ah, the epic chase scene. After that really crappy apartment. You guys get what I get get what I did there? The crappy apartment with all the birds, the bird poop and stuff. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, Hank. I fell, bro. Okay, here we are. Nothing this is this uh program allows them to love or desire anything in the park. They're machines. What about heart you, to heart Connor? with Hank. You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when you shot those two girls? Fucking bastard. Or were you just executing some program? All I did was neutralize two machines, Lieutenant. I didn't hesitate for a second, if that's what you're asking. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Turned him hostage. <gasps> so if you're super negative with Hank and you aren't really building your relationship with him at all, you have the option for him to execute you. Interesting. <laughs> Sits down and gets back to his beer. What a savage. If you give yourself up, <gasps> maybe Oh, I can this was an insane scene. Destroy you. So in this one, I think we're gonna be waiting until that one minute timer runs out. And if we do, obviously his system's gonna shut down, so. Hank! Hank, I need help! Connor! Hang on, son, hang on, hang on. We're gonna save you, hang on. Deviant! There was a deviant. Oh, dude. Connor. Connor. No. He died in Hank's arms. All right, that one might be the toughest one yet. Oh, I knew this was going to be one. At the march, the first protest. Ooh. No. No. Leave the 
go north. No, no. We have to go. Could you imagine if that would have happened? The march never would have happened. There wouldn't have been a good ending if we chose that. Oh, dude. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. In the basement of the I know police how station. To stop the deviants. I hate this, You're off dude. the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. So we were in this position, but we fought him and we won. This is what happens if you can't do the quick time events. Gonna lose the fight. Point blank with the pistol. That one was pretty bad, too. It's time to decide. Oh, wow. Nice try. But I'm no deviant. Let's go, North. Come on. I like her a lot. Shit. So this is what happens if Marcus is dead because of that protest thing. And so North is kind of taken over, I guess. Don't move. Don't shoot. I'm on your side. With us? Are you a human? Gotta be able to do your quick times, man. That's kind of interesting, though, how, like, if you chose to stay a machine, how that'd work out. Weird. I don't like it, though. Wait, what is this? Is that north? Put the rifle down and turn around with your hands in the air. I have the deviant leader in my sights. I'm going to shoot it, and then you can do whatever you want with me. Put the gun down, turn around. This is your last warning. I know you. You're Connor, the android from that hostage situation. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Androids don't die, Captain. My orders are to detain any androids I find. You're coming with me. You don't understand. My mission is too important to let you interfere. Killing people even without the quick time, that's fine. Okay, that was that was pretty cool. I liked the fight and the fact that he was about a snipe north. That's an interesting turn. I, I don't know if I could be against against North and Jericho and everybody. I I wouldn't want to do that. And now for the final one. I guess this would be the end of the game if you chose to fight, right? We can't go back. Victory or death now.
She looks crazy, dude. This is why you do peaceful protests, not the not the way North wanted to do it. mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants, and I always accomplish my mission. We fought for our dream and we lost. You can't hold my people down forever. One day we'll rise up again and we will win. Go on. Shoot. What are you waiting for? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I, I don't like that ending at all. I'm glad that we kept it peaceful the entire time because I, I don't know if I could have taken that. If Marcus ended up dying and then North ended up getting shot by Connor and I, I, I don't think I could have dealt with it. That would not have been nearly as good of a playthrough. So anyway, there you guys have it. A lot of you guys have been asking for the alternate endings and stuff. I feel like this is a pretty good look at it. We got to see a bunch of Connor deaths, even an Alice and Kara death. And then we also got to see kind of like the alternate way that we could have gone if we went deviant. Um, maybe eventually one day, like a month or a few months down the line, maybe I'll come back and I'll play with Chelsea and we'll do like a whole nother playthrough. But it's just right now, I feel like there are too many games coming out, too many things going on. It doesn't make sense to sit down and play through another eight hour game that we've already played already. You know what I mean? So hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.